I actually want to get to this really fun game that you and I are going to yeah. play. And by the way, I feel like I'm going to win this for some reason. But we're going to we're going to play this game called <laughs> for some reason. For some reason, I just, no, I, I have it's no idea. Show. No, I promise you, I just I'm actually really good at games, and I'm super competitive. Every this answer game, is in that prompter. No, it's not. I promise you. It says I feel like I'm going to win for some reason. Me in the prompter. <laughs> It's in the prompt. <laughs> he is being, he's not telling you guys the truth. Okay, so this game is called Two Lies and a Truth, okay? And right. I am going to go first, and you're going to guess which one okay. is true. Ready? Yes. First up, when I was, I have a good poker face, by the way. When I was 18, I went on tour with Wyclef Jean and Lil Wayne in Canada. I speak three languages fluently. I once shot a buffalo with a crossbow and missed. Which one of these statements is true? The uh, Buffalo story. It's not. My husband did it, and he didn't miss. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's hanging in our living room. Great white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the true. Wait, state... what's hanging in your room? The Buffalo or the, the Buffalo is in our living room, not the crossbow. Oh, okay. Yeah, he that... actually got it shipped all the way from Africa. That'd be a little. Kinky. So I pretended to be my yeah. husband, and then I pretended to miss. <laughs> Never miss. The truth of that statement was, when I was 18, I did go on tour with Wyclef and Little Wayne. As a. As a person interning and helping on tour. Oh, really? Isn't that really fun? Yeah, I know. I, I and actually. Actually, Little Wayne is quite conservative. I could probably get him on the show. He probably oh, really? doesn't remember me, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. You're up. Oh, I'm up. Let's see. I swam with a great white shark in Australia. I once drove my own car off a tow truck. I was put in jail for 24 hours on a trip to Italy. I'm going with you were put in jail for 24 hours on a trip to Italy. True. Wrong. What that is it? Is you drove lie. your own car off of a. a I once drove my own car off a tow truck. And I feel like did you <laughs> did you like steal it back? I did not let the man steal it. Yeah. That's a <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't so know if you can steal. well said. How can you steal no. your own property? You know what? Back? I support that. I'm not a criminal, but I support that because it's just like okay, they, you did something wrong. Unless you're blocking someone, towing is just such was, an inconvenience. Just it, give me a ticket. It was in full tow mode. Yeah. It was the kind that put the prongs <laughs> underneath the rear wheels, lifted it up. The rear it was a BMW M3 stick shift. By the way, it's harder to. Harder to navigate with a stick shift. Car was towed. Somebody yelled at me. I was at a party. I ran outside. I argued with the guy for 20 minutes. He said he's towing it anyway. I jumped in the car. He drove the tow truck. He dragged me. I know cars. All the brake ballast is in the front. So he was having trouble moving me when I had my foot on the brake. At some point, my buddy ran out, unlashed the rear tires. I, I, I undid the other one. I jumped in, fired it up, popped it in first, rocked it and drove off the tow How truck. old are you? Please. <laughs> That's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. I have to ask, how old were you when you did that? Was this like yesterday? Oh, no, I, I was 34 and a half. You were 34. Like, I was an adult. <laughs> full adult. Full yeah, adult. that's hilarious. Yeah. Okay. In high school, I was all state in gymnastics. I once rescued an animal from a Wiccan festival. I used to be a Democrat. One of these is true. Uh, too the tall others. for the gymnastics. Uh, Wiccan. Nah, I couldn't see you uh, over there with your meat and your gruel and uh, <laughs> hanging around with those people. Or maybe, maybe it's another festival. I have you as a uh, form, former Democrat. No, that is one of the biggest media lies about me. I've never voted Democrat my entire life, but I did rescue a kitty cat from a Wiccan festival. And I, I didn't mean to be at the festival, so no, I was not really? dressed. It was just, I was walking through Union Square in New York, and there was this adorable little kitten, and I was at the end of the festival, and they were like, if you don't, if nobody rescues these animals, they're gonna be killed. And I was like, I don't even want a cat, and I'm allergic, but I have to rescue it. And I still have that cat today. Wow. Yeah, so we're both, we both have not won any, any of these. All right, I'm gonna we're win this next two. one. Yeah. Should I go now? Yeah. I have a massive fear of clowns. That's not on the card. It's just something I wanted to get off my chest. <laughs> Let me get back to the game. I haven't bought a new pair of pants in 12 years. I used to teach comedy traffic school. Did you say comedy traffic school? Comedy traffic school. Can you tell me what comedy traffic school is first? Like what is like is it? I would give you a detailed explanation, but, but then that it would, would prove be a it was tell. true. That would be called a tell. Okay, so, so I'm gonna say I'm you. going to say that's true. And now please tell me what comedy traffic school is. They have some such a thing as traffic school. Okay, yeah. They would hire washed up comedians. No, no, pre-washed comedians. <laughs> now I'm washed up. Then I was pre-washed to 
teach the comic school, the comedy traffic school in a comedic, lighthearted way. Everyone would pay an extra eight bucks and it would be not as miserable yeah. a weekend for you if you I had love me that. as your instructor. Yeah, that's really good. I actually had to go, I lost my license once and I had to go back because I had too many speeding tickets. So I would have appreciated a comedian, which means one O, oh, I'm winning. You have a license? Yeah, I know. I didn't know black, black people, people knew how to get, I know. <laughs> I'm the only one. I'm the only one. It's an amazing feat. I, so I, you took the one ID for black people? You're going you're gonna to be shocked. I actually somehow was able to Google DMV near me, and I was able to find DMV. But I thought you guys didn't have computer access. I'm the access. only black person that has the internet. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. I'm excited. Oh, you went that. to the library. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. No, see, that's, I know. I'm very proud of me. Thank you go very much. <laughs> All right, in order to time it, you're going to have to get this right. right. Ready? First one. The first time that I met President Trump, he made a joke about the Me Too movement. When I was a kid, the first thing I wanted to be was an orthodontist. I play the guitar. Orthodontist. Eh, which makes me automatically the winner. The All first right. time I met President Trump, he made a joke about the Me Too movement. I, I wanted to Come do on, that. Come on, it was so, it was too easy. Your teeth are so damn nice. Yeah, it was, it was too, thank you very much. I had a good orthodontist, but I did not oh, want to be him. I actually hated him because he, every time I was there, he hurt me. So mm. yeah, it was actually the Trump one that was true. So I automatically win, but I want to guess your last one. Oh, okay. Uh, I alphabetize all the spices in my kitchen cabinet. Oh my. Uh, I paint my appliances and floor of every house so that they match. I don't allow my dog to sleep in my bed. What was the second one? I paint my appliances and floor so they match the, the same colors. Oh. I'm going with that one. It's really weird. Yeah, it's oddly specific, and that's because it's true. What? <laughs> Can you explain this, please? All right, I, all right. I love building. I love architecture. I love design, right? <laughs> yeah. And I was rebuilding my kitchen, and I noticed that you could get a dishwasher with like a different color face on it or a oven with a different, but they didn't all match up. And then the refrigerator was stainless steel. Yeah. So I was like, I want them all to be the same color and I want to be the color I picked, not the one that the store picked out. So I took off all the doors of, of the refrigerator, the oven, microwave, every appliance, the dishwasher, I took it all off. It was all stainless steel and I had it painted the color I want to paint. I put it back and it all matches now. And people would say, how are you going to paint stainless steel? And I said, I've seen a DeLorean automobile painted before. That's the stainless steel car from back in the future. I've seen red DeLoreans. Good enough for the DeLorean, good enough for my fridge. Okay, so I'm going to have to ask, was this during lockdown? This sounds like lockdown time. No, I did this <laughs> shortly after I drove off the pickup truck. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this segment of Candice. If you liked this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. To watch or listen to the full show, become a member at dailywire.com slash subscribe and use code Candice for 25% off your new membership.